Hey everyone, welcome to Rich and Joe Bushcraft. I'm Joe. No, you're you're Rich. Okay, I'm Rich. He's Joe. Yeah. And today we're actually gonna do a project from home. Um, that something that you actually can do out in the field, in the middle of the woods. And we are gonna make a bow saw. And we will show you how. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so this is actually what we're going to be using. We won't need a whole container of these things, or a whole bag, but just to show you what we have. Uh, we're going to be using some hose clamps, a couple of key rings, a multi-tool, and one saw blade. And this heck of a thing. Yep, and we'll show you what's going on with that. So the heck of a thing that he was pointing out was actually a piece of green wood. Uh, you want to cut it approximately one and a half size the length of the blade that you want to use. That's the start. Let's get that. And it needs to be green, green wood, so it doesn't snap. And depending on the thickness, um, some of the best ways instead of just snapping it on your knee you actually could crack it so what you should do is start bending use, you can use your knee but not with the full intent of doing the bend all at once and bend it in parts going to the end I'll see if I can do that from here or another thing you can do just to get it started is use your body because your body won't have the sharp bend of your knee that would crack it. Or probably use your butt. You can use your butt. Because uh, even your back. But yeah, see, you can it's getting more of a bend. Because you want to give the bend ahead of time so that, again, it won't crack while you're trying to put the whole thing together. Alright, we'll continue with that and then show you the next step. Alright. So these are the ends, the two. We're just gonna like cover off any little nubs, to flatten it out. All right, and then the same on this side. All right, so now we have you can actually just keep a couple of these in your bag so you don't need to carry a big handle or anything like that. So if you have to have to do this in the woods, you'll be all set. But, put that ring over. And then, and same thing ring. on this side. Now the tree is married. Alright, so we're going to do... Give a little space on the end, and then right about here, okay, just a little bit. And then, if, since we're going to be using a multi-tool, which many people will have on them anyway, most of them do have a little screwdriver. And we're going to actually tighten both of these. Alright, so I have those two secured on the ends. What that's going to do is, cause I'm going to split put a split in both of those ends and that will prevent them from accidentally splitting out further. It'll hold them in pray, place so I can limit how it's going to split. And what I'm going to do, since I already got that bend going on, is I'm going to put that on the ground and make sure that I'm going to try to get the split here to be straight and even with the one on the other end. So just do that carefully, and what we're going to do, in addition, we're just going to put, the, put your knife right in that spot, and there. We have one. Then I 
again, just trying to eye it to be as straight as you can. And do that again. There. Got it. All right, next, we're going to take two key rings and we're going to put them in the two holes on the ends that actually come on these blades. All right, so now we're going to take the blades and it's going to be the blade itself, not the ring, we're actually going to put into the splits that we created in the wood. And the ring is going to actually be used, well, one to pull it on, but it will actually help to prevent the blade from sliding out. Alright, so we got one, and then the next step is going to be to put pressure on this to get the bend so we can then put in the other, into the other end. So, it may take a little pressing it into the ground to get that bend, but definitely doing that step at the beginning to pre-bend it helps it's awesome and this is what you got we now have a bow saw and it's all out of stuff all you'd have to carry out is a little couple of key rings so again both hold it in and actually help you to pull it into the slots um, maybe a little handful of um, pipe uh, Post clamps and your multi tool. Because the multi tool, besides doing the split and cleaning up anything on the end to give it a round surface, um, most multi tools also have a little saw blade so you can actually cut the piece of wood that you need. So, there we go. Hey, Joseph. What do you think? Nice! Alright, let's test this thing out. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, absolutely. needing a clamp. Alright, so thank you everybody for watching. Pretty cool. And it's, it's actually lighter than the steel ones you get at, um, you know, hardware stores, things like that. Um, and if it does break, you have the stuff. You can undo these, take that off, you can pack, so you can actually, uh, some of the bend will go back out on this and you can actually put it in a backpack, uh, tie it to a backpack, the little hooks can be hung off something. So it's, it's really handy. And easy to pack up, bring in and out. And that's about it. <laughs> so you can have a little packable bow saw for out in the wood. All right, so thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, add a comment, um, what you think of this, and for this guy, and um, share. Yeah, share. <laughs> share. And, and I and I got and guys, I want you to comment on on which what um, bushcraft channels you'd want us to check out and what and what and what um. This, what videos that we can possibly um, do a Rich and Joe cover of. <laughs> Rich and Joe cover. Yeah. All right. So thank you, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, or wherever you are in time. Bye. Bye. So I can cut a piece of wood um, just by looking at it. How you do that? I, I do I do know it's hard to believe, but I saw it with my two eyes.
the Prince of Dad Jokes.